Hello again, we are here at DreamHack Bucharest and I am joined by Marcus who works as a video director for DreamHack. Hi, thank you for joining us. Thanks a lot. So I know that DreamHack works with a lot of streams for uh, DreamHack Summer, DreamHack Winter, I think there are nine streams, tens of streams in different languages. Can you tell me a little bit about how much work goes into coordinating all those streams in order to reach a global audience? Uh, obviously there's always a lot of different graphics that needs to go in for every stream and we always try to make everything as polished as possible but since we're still a small company that's growing um, we still need to make sure that we can deliver everything so sometimes quality has to be lower just to make more of everything. Can you tell me specifically about DreamHack Bucharest? I think it's a more limited event than what you do in Sweden, but is it a matter of uh, less is more and even if there are fewer streams, they are of a higher quality? Uh, like every event, um, every event is important to us. Uh, Bucharest is, is uh, we've been there three times now and uh, it's grown every time. So uh, obviously we have to keep putting a lot of time in, uh, making sure it gets better every every year. Um, and I'm only responsible for, for helping out on the uh, StarCraft stream uh, on this event. But uh, I mean, we have Dota here, we have League of Legends and, uh, and other games like Hearthstone tournament. Uh, so I think it's very important for us to make sure that all these streams deliver quality content and I try to help us as much as possible even though I only work mainly with the StarCraft stream. Can you tell me a little bit about the kind of tools that you use for your video production, the kind of software, the kind of equipment? Uh, I mainly use Adobe Premiere for, for the editing and uh, Adobe After Effects for uh, effects. Uh, sometimes I use Maya as well uh, when we need uh, some more 3D objects and stuff. Um, but it's mainly After Effects and Premiere for, uh, for the work I do currently. Um, can you tell me a little bit about your team? Uh, <laughs> my team is very small. Uh, it's not just you, is it? Uh, sort of is only me, but if I, I think of it as, uh, as I'm a coordinator and sometimes I take help from uh, freelance people. Like I have people in France, uh, people in Romania, people in Poland, like pretty much everywhere. I have people that can help me with specific tasks. Uh, some, some guys are specifically good at taking out uh, awesome clips from Dora, for example. Uh, some are good at Counter-Strike and I use all these people uh, because if I would do everything myself, it, it would not be the quality I want. So I have specialists in some areas and they help me do this, these uh, specific tasks. And, and that way I can get what I want and I can edit it the way I want. And that helps me create a lot more stuff in the time that I have than I would if I <laughs> didn't have any help. So you can say it's, it's, a, it's a team, but it's not very like, spread out. It's not in the same office. It's just like, I talk to them on Skype like weekly and, and order stuff and they, they deliver. You give them tasks and they fulfill them. Yes. I think PGL has come a long way. Um, they're striving to become more like us, which is a good thing because uh, DreamHack Bucharest is meant to be a DreamHack. And I think if, in order to become a DreamHack, you need to, to um, evolve into, into being a, a, an actual DreamHack. Uh, and I think the, the uh, streaming has gone a long way since, since last time I was here. Everything looks a lot better. Um, better production value, better videos, and you know, uh, it's an ongoing progress uh, process, and uh, I think they've come a long way. Uh, obviously, there's a quite a, quite a big difference between television and uh, and let's say Twitch or any other online broadcast, because the audience is uh, a lot more mature on, on television, and compared to the, the say the Twitch community, they're more like. They, they like these small funny jokes and like costumes and stuff which is a bit non-traditional for television um, 
so I have to have that in mind when I make the videos that uh, some some videos might fit on television and some might not. Um, so I always have to have that in the back of my head because the, the different audience they accept different things. They, I mean, some some stuff might look bad on like traditional television, while the Twitch ad might find it find it very funny. So, uh, but I think uh, what we're trying to do is is like. Uh, narrow everything down so that they become a bit more unified so I think TV will evolve a lot during uh, the coming years uh, I think they will accept more uh, what we do uh, they will also understand it because right now the television uh, audience is, is a bit older than, than the uh, uh, online broadcast audience and I think that gap will bridge uh, when a few year, more years pass and they will begin to understand what we're doing and how the games work and I think that's gonna make my job a lot easier. Well, I think that's a very positive note to end the interview on. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks a lot. And good luck.